Hi, I'm Peter Cameron, the Bee Whisperer. We are going to work today on making the key part of the apparatus for a bee vac or bee vacuum. So this is a key piece of uh, equipment that you would use for doing what we call a cutout or removing a colony from a structure like the soffit of a house or the wall. It's a way that you can vacuum up the bees without damaging the bees. You vacuum them up into basically uh, a specialized beehive. Um, and what we're going to make right now is the piece of apparatus that attaches the vacuum to the bees and catches the bees before they get to the vacuum. So that's what we're gonna work on today. So we'll get a few things organized here and then we'll show you some key steps in assembling your own bee vac. I think that what we're going to do is basically have the piece of apparatus. We want a screen in here. We're going to attach a screen inside this box so that we can have the vacuum attached to this end and sucking air from this box. Then we're going to have a vacuum hose which goes from our bees somewhere over here and the hose is going to come into this area through the side of this box and the purpose of this screen is to stop the bees getting sucked into the vacuum which will be attached to this end. So the, because the vacuum, the speed, bees come rapidly through the hose and into this bigger vortex here that will suddenly slow the progress of the bees down. And also by having the screen in here at an angle, if they do hit the screen at the far end they get deflected down rather than just going bang against a wall. So, in this way, we do minimum damage to the bees themselves. So let's start putting together this as best we can. So we've cut a couple of bits out, and if we can find them, we should be on our way. Okay, so this is going to go in here. And we're going to want to... What I want to do is get this in here. And we can either nail it or or use the staple gun. Staple gun might be kind of easy. Can you get a hand on this in here from that side? This? Yeah. Yep. If you hold it tight against there, okay. that's going to work. Got some staples. See what? Let's do it this way. I'll point it downwards rather than me shooting you with it. Appreciate that. Okay, so you put a hand around the other side. What we're going to look to do, and this in that way our viewers can watch as well. We're going to try and get this flat. Hold on, it's not under. Yeah, okay. So this is not going to be binding, holding it into position yet, but. Okay. And the nails will actually do the job better. Is that pushed in all the way, that screen? Okay. So we've got it tacked into place right now. And then what we're going to do is we'll put in a couple of pieces which are 45 degree angles cut into them. And they're going to go in here. So you see what I've got there, Amy? Yep. And here. And so we're going to go at 45 degrees, and I think this is long enough to go into here. And we'll just tack it into position there. I think that's... Very good, so we're going to also tack it into position here. Right. We're not going to do anything, need to do anything beside that, I think. <laughs> jump me. That that jump me. <laughs> Make, that'll make for good video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still came out. 
tell you what, where's the other seat? This one might be better for it. Okay, brace yourself. I'm ready for this one. So now we're putting the screen in over here. Bend it out the corner here a little. That's good. Looks good and tight. Okay, I want to put a, a smaller piece of wood in as well. I think we're going to do that anyway. Yeah. And I believe that was 14 and 5 eighths, which it is. 14 and 5 eighths. Mark that out. short which is too bad but what we're looking to do is we're putting this piece of wood in here and this is actually actually a support also for the for the plexiglass it's going to go in there got this is screen is going to go in here and we may just staple this in place now we have to drill a hole into this side for the suction and a hole into this side for the delivery end of the hose. So this is going to be, it's an old swimming pool hose and this is going to go into this area here and it's going to be right where the handle is which is awkward but this should be fine. I don't want it to be too near the top so I'll put this right in the middle here somewhere. Okay. okay. So this is now going to be able to, with a bit of help. It's going to need some, uh, effectively, a gasket around it with the duct tape. The, hole is, the hole, holes don't exactly match what we have.
many, many uses for duct tape. <laughs> Effectively acting like a gasket. And so now, when the suction is on, this, they've not got the vacuum on yet, we can be vacuuming bees from anywhere and they're going to get sucked into this area. So now what we have to do is put a hole in for the suction. So that's for our hose delivery. Thank you. And on this side, we need it to fit the vacuum. So a power source I know I'm going to use for this is normally a shop vac. This, I'd rather it be right here. So now we have the hole here, we have the vacuum hose, which will go into here, and now we'll be able to see the thing in as it would work. Pull hose here. Okay, so. If the vacuum was turned on, the air is sucked from here. Remember, this is going to be sealed off with plexiglass. So, and this box will be sitting on top of a sealed uh, deep super with frames in it, which is where the bees are going to collect. The air gets sucked out of here through the screen, so it gets sucked from here, blows into this area from, and so if Amy's taking bees out of the bees up there they get sucked up into here blow out into this space and fall into the space below so now we have the structure ready we are ready to put a sheet of perspex or plexiglass up on top here and we're just going to use a lot of sealant to get that ready so we have flex shot huh <laughs> Thick rubber adhesive sealant, excellent. And how do we propel it? Just push it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put a lot of sealant on this on the screen. You want to take that off? Yeah. There's a solid line. I think there's going to be enough there. This is the area I'm most concerned about, so I'll put more in here. 
Now it doesn't matter if it drips as long as it seals is the important thing. So I think we are ready. That side is clean. Yes. So you, you govern that side and I'll govern this. And we're just going to lower it straight on. This, this is this the, the wrong piece. The wrong piece. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the piece that we cut? This it's this one here. Yeah, that's the one. Right. Okay, we'll do that again. Take two. Take two. <laughs> that's the beauty of uh, being able to edit these things. Yeah. Now let's see what else we've got here. Okay, I believe we have everything that we need here. We're ready? Yep. Okay, and we press down firmly. Okay, and what we're going to do is remove this a little further this way. And we're going to put a bit of weight on it in a variety of places. Okay, you're not going to squeeze it out too much, just enough. And let's put a couple of weights on it. Yeah, sure. Nothing particularly heavy. Half use paint for bee beekeeping. So what we have here, let's look a little closer. We now have an airtight seal here. So what we're putting on is an airtight lid on top of a deep super. The bees get sucked up this hose. It goes into this space which is sucked up because we have a vacuum caused by a vacuum here. The vacuum is sucking air out of there and blowing it out of here. So all the air that's getting sucked in here is going through that screen. This then goes on top of a deep super. So just to show you, we'll just mock up what would go at the bottom here. Okay, so we're gonna lift this onto here in a second. So this would, Picture this with the hole sealed up. We're not going to do it right now, but this is how we would set it up. We'll see, we'd put a seal on the hole here with an airtight seal here. Then we'll lift this super onto on top of that. Now, with this being a relatively airtight seal here, what we would then do is place this on top. Um, let's lift it up on top. We should be okay. I'm going to take the vacuum off it first. Okay, let's lift it up. Now, the air, if we we're sucking the air out of it here, and we have our vacuum attached here. Now you can picture, if we turn the vacuum on, it's creating, it's sucking all of this in. So this whole area is getting, is vacuum, getting sucked in through this hole, which goes out to the hose. The only thing that we need to do now is we're gonna put one more hole here, which will be the bypass, which can govern how hard this vacuum is sucking. Because this vacuum only sucks at one speed, full pelt. So it sucks as hard as it can. If you had the bees coming through this apparatus with the vacuum at full speed and no bypass, what's gonna happen is, even though you're having all this space and you've got the screen at an angle here, they're gonna come in so hard that you're gonna damage a lot of bees. So what we're gonna do is make a bypass over here in order to avoid damaging the bees. So. We'll put in a little bypass, which is simply just another hole. Okay, 
get that out. And put us here. A hole in the screen down there. Doing this left handed is hard for me. that in there because we'll never get it out. So we'll get it out somehow. Crap. <laughs> oh well, it's in there. We might get it out this hole later. So what we need to do to make a bypass to govern the rate at which this bypass goes is we need a piece of plastic. And here is a perfect piece of plastic. Now I need a pair of scissors. So a piece of plastic like this, and I'm going to cut a loop. For those of you in the UK, you will get this in inside joke. For the rest of you, you won't get it. For my American friends, you won't get it. But this is a great little Blue Peter project, which uh, we can make a, a bee vacuum out of uh, various scrap bits of plastic and screen and what have you. I'll explain it to you later, Amy, what the Blue Peter project is. <laughs> so what we have here now, I just need a screw. So with this, all we're going to need to do again, I have to do it left-handed unless I turn. So basically what this is, is a bypass, and if I want air to, if I'm sucking with this, and this is closed, which is going to suck the air in like that, it, all of the air will get sucked in through the hose. But if I open it, open this a little this way, some air can go straight round this way. If I open it more, a lot more air goes through, and if I open it all the way, there's so much air can get through here that virtually nothing is being sucked through the hose. So by fiddling around with this until it's just right, you're letting enough air through the bypass that you're slowing down the suction or reducing the suction on the hose of the, um, on the bees and therefore minimizing the damage to the bees. So that is it complete now. Um, might just put a a washer on this to hold it flatter against here but that's going to work perfectly well so this is what we call a bee vac for doing various jobs like calling um like what we'd call a cutout or removal from a structure where we want to take the bees out without harming them and then cut out the combs and that'll be something for another video i'm peter cowan the bee whisperer and that's amy nickerson holding the camera see you next time <laughs>